there's hundreds of thousands of dogs in shelters. They just want your companionship. And a great example of that has been Ziggy. Second chances, I think, are, are really important just in, in general in life. We were fortunate enough to be able to find her in the shelter and give her a second chance at having a home. A lot of the things that we do are kind of in service to that. It's very hard to describe. They're more than just your pet. They're your family members. We love them both. These are our kids right now. You would do anything for your kids. I would do anything for my pets. Good job, buddy. You sit. Ah, OK. With dogs, people think that once you start training a dog, that if they don't get it, it's like, why Why are they not doing what I tell them to do? But like, they're not robots. But it just, it takes time. This is our little Ziggy girl. We adopted Ziggy from the Humane Society of Tampa Bay back in 2018. And then this is Ghost. The Ghost is our first dog. From the time that we got her, she's changed our lives. The stigma that, sh that shelter dogs are bad, it's just, it's just wrong. We never know what they've been through, you know, especially Ziggy. While she is with us, we can do the best we can to give her the best life. They reciprocate with the love that they give us, the happiness that they bring us, the companionship. And after that, we really saw a way that we can make a difference. Me and my wife, Mariah, started the Team Galvin Foundation. We started with just providing financial support and advocacy to, you know, to shelter dogs. We have a second chance fund, which is supporting the financial element of dogs that have been in really bad situations, like where they have medical problems, and we cover those costs. I appreciate PetSmart and Hills for providing support and resources for all dogs so that they can be healthy and active, no matter what their circumstances. We take our dogs to PetSmart to get groomed. And when they're there, we'll let them walk around and pick some toys out. They typically just let, let their nose kind of guide them. That's the kind of stuff that we love because it gives them a better life, and that's all we're here for. One of the, the biggest success stories that we have so far there was a dog named Cameron. Come here, buddy. Do you want a treat? Come here, buddy. Good boy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. This is Cameron. The he... love of our lives. Yeah. We can't imagine our life without him, truly. When Hurricane Laura hit Louisiana, a local rescue here called Compassion Kind wanted to go help rescue dogs. So that is where the Team Godwin Foundation stepped in to finance the entire thing. And once they opened the cage door, like there was that point where he looked at us too and was like, you are my people. It took him a long time to settle and get comfortable. We had a hard timeline that, yeah, we can have him for yeah. three weeks, but he's gone. Especially given that he was part of a cruelty case, you don't really know what you're walking into there. He just needed that comfort level to really shine. He just had nothing but love to give. We're on the way to the Pet Resource Center, which is one of the shelters that we have volunteered at. What we call ourselves is the first place for pets. We want people to know that this shelter is the first place for a pet. We have very low adoption fees. We just want to help these dogs that need a second chance get a second chance into a home. We had 100,000 adoptions within the last about 10 years. I feel like you have to do a really good job of setting up places for dogs to be able to, you know, to grow and to, you know, be able to just be dogs, which yeah. I which I think is the coolest thing. Because like well, you said, they spend so much time kind of in the kennel. Really so part of our program is to just get dogs some interaction with humans. <laughs> this is Mr. Gooby. Wasn't doing very well out in the shelter. So he's a lovable dog. Great, great little office companion. Getting them out of the shelter and into the home environment, these dogs really blossom. A lot of our dogs that come through here are a little harder to get adopted. They have great potential to go home with you and be the best dogs that they can be. We really love when we can work with, with people like Chris and PetSmart to promote shelter dogs and get people to know that they're here, they're waiting for new homes, and by them talking about it, it can help other people understand, like, hey, you know, you could even come and volunteer here. There's a comfort there knowing that they just want you, they want your love, they want your attention, and they want to give that back to you. I'm sorry. That's a really cool thing to have.
anything we can do to really help. You know, we're just trying to spread this message because we know how important it can be. And, you know, dogs, they, they really impact our lives. They do. You know? I think my, like, this, this passion that we have for dogs really just stems from, I guess, opening your heart and your mind. And after learning the things that we've learned, we had to realize that there was a place that we could make a difference. I'm grateful for companies like Hills and PetSmart that are committed to helping dogs find new homes. Dogs are a part of our world, but you know, to your dog, you are their world. It's a beautiful relationship. The Ziggy would definitely be my, my best and, uh, and favorite teammate. She's my most valuable pet.